It's been a busy day. I have done lots of things today. It feels nice to be tucked up in bed, wrapped in my lovely warm duvet. I love my bed. It's so cosy. As I write this, my cat is sitting next to me, purring away. She loves to sleep in my bed. I woke up early so I could go to the gym before work. I am trying to work out at least three times a week. Before I go to the gym, I always eat a banana and drink a big glass of water. Sometimes I don't feel like it, but it's good for me. If I have time, I'll do some stretches, but most of the time, I'm running late. I always do a class at the gym because I work harder. It lasts about 45 minutes. Then I drive back home, shower and get ready for work. Sometimes I work from home and other times I drive into the office. Luckily, today I worked from home so after I had showered and changed, I turned on my laptop and ate my breakfast at my desk. I didn't have much time, so I had a bowl of cereal and a cuppa. The first cup of tea of the day is truly the best. I had lots of meetings today. Some of them felt a little pointless, but others were very productive. I recently got a promotion, so I am learning lots of new things. I enjoy my job and I am lucky that the people I work with are genuinely nice. They have been extremely helpful. At lunchtime, I went for a walk for some fresh air. I picked some flowers at the local park. They smell wonderful. I love fresh flowers. Once I got home, I put the flowers in some water and placed them on my table so I can look at them while I work. Then I made myself a ham salad sandwich. I also ate an apple, a yoghurt and a bag of crisps. I had three cups of tea today. I am trying to drink more water and less tea. I hope to get this down to two cups, one in the morning and one after lunch. In the afternoon, I caught up on my emails and I logged off at 5pm. After work, I went to see my grandma and then I drove to the local shopping centre. My friend's little boy will soon be five years old, so I wanted to get him a little present. I got him a birthday card, some chocolates and a storybook. He loves to read. He is particularly good at reading for his age. After the shopping centre, I drove to the supermarket and did my weekly food shop. It was quite expensive. I bought fruit, vegetables, some meat, milk, bread, tinned foods, rice, pasta, yoghurts, cheese and some juice. Once I had packed my shopping into the car, I drove to the petrol station and bought some petrol. It's getting so dear. I'm trying to drive less, but when I go shopping, I need my car as I have too many bags to carry. After I filled up my car with petrol, I drove to my parents' house. I promised them that I would help them with their new television so I showed them how it works and how to change the channels. I stayed at my parents' house for dinner and then I headed home.
Once I got home, I unpacked all my shopping and I got ready for bed. Before I get into bed, I always like to stretch and today was no exception. I spent 20 minutes stretching out my legs, back, neck and arms. It always relaxes me before I get into bed. As I had been to the gym in the morning, I was feeling a little achy. I feel like I have been rushing around a lot today. Hopefully, tomorrow will be a little calmer. I can stay in bed a little longer than today because it is a rest day from the gym and I only have two meetings so I can take it a little easier. I have also planned to make my favourite lunch of poached eggs and tiger bread. In the evening, I'm going to try a new yoga class with my friend and then I plan to have an early night with lots of sweet dreams. Now let's go through some of the vocabulary from this story. Pointless, pointless. Something that is pointless has no purpose and it is a waste of time doing it. Exception, exception. If someone or something that is not included in a rule, group or list or does not behave in the expected way, then they are the exception or the exception to the rule. Genuinely, genuinely is really and sincerely. Productive, productive. To be productive is to have a large supply of something or to have positive results. Promotion, promotion. To get a promotion is to move to a higher level or position in a company, institution or sport. Rush, to rush. To rush is to go or do something very quickly. Stretch, to stretch. To stretch is to make your arms, legs or body as straight as possible so that your muscles become long and tight. Cozy, cozy. To be cozy is to be comfortable and pleasant. Wrapped, wrapped. To be wrapped is to be covered with paper or another material. Purr, to purr. To purr is to make a quiet, continuous, soft sound like a cat. Poach, to poach. To poach is to cook something such as a fish or an egg with its shell removed by putting it gently into boiling water or other liquid. Tinned, tinned. Food that is tinned is put in a tin in order to preserve it. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. See you soon.